What is going on guys? It is your boy Apathy back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but I think it's really fun and exciting, especially more towards the competitive side of things. So a lot of you guys know we had our first like exhibition match for Seattle Surge. We ended up winning 3-2. It was a pretty close series. It was fun to play something competitive. If you guys did not know, we've freaking been scrimming for like two months and a half now, and we haven't had an inch of really anything competitive. It's just like going hard to scrim, 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 scrims. And obviously, like scrims are really very important to improve, to get better. And obviously, there's a lot of big things in the future, like tournaments and big, it's just a lot of prizes and stuff. So it, you build up for that moment and for those moments. But it's just when you go for such a long time, especially as a pro player, as a competitive player, it kind of sucks not playing anything competitive. So this is kind of getting like that first competitive itch and scratch out of the way so it was a ton of fun just to play in general like i had fun it was fun I, you know as a competitive person I, it was genuinely fun and the game is amazing so it made it so much and that much better so we're gonna go over these maps we're gonna i'm gonna be talking about some of these maps or every map and breaking down things that went right things that went that wrong you know how kind of how the map played out what we could have done better etc etc so let's get right into it we're gonna start off with raid hard point which was the first map versus seattle surge all right guys so to be honest raid hard point and scrim sometimes we struggle on the map i guess just making a, a new map in the rotation you know we just started screaming screaming it recently and i wasn't the biggest bo2 player like i did play black ops 2 but like i wasn't like super knowledgeable or like super good in black ops 2 i didn't really grind it enough so it's definitely a map we need to work on a bit but right off the bat we win the break winning the break on raid the break off is really good because you get the setup right away and setting up in the p1 hill is extremely hard to break like it is super super hard like it is frustrating when you're scrimming and they get the hill right off the bat and you can't break it and you're just you chalk and you just go like try to rotate or you try to like world start them to break it so that really helped us um, start off just hot and like get some points. And then since we had the laundry side, we're able to basically chain P1 and P2 Hill and, you know, get basically start off like with a 60 point lead because we played the P2 Hill really right. So the thing about that map in general, it really felt like our teamwork was on point. I think that was the biggest takeaway. Like you can notice in a lot of situations, like we were working together, we we're cross firing together, we we're waiting for each other. And that's something like even pro players lack kind of in scrims. But I feel like when it comes to matches, like even myself, like it's it's hard to be super disciplined the whole time during scrims. But when you go into a match and something is like fun, like something's competitive or something important, you know, you start to really bring that discipline out and you start to play safer. You start to play more as a team. And you can see like throughout that whole map, like we're just executing everything so well together. And we were able to just play like I mean, just play the map super good. Like you, you notice like we were winning some gunfights here and there. They were pretty good, but like for the most part, it was just really good teamwork and really good rotations. I think Pristini also started off that map pretty bad, and he has that tendency sometimes to kind of you know start off slow. And I mean, I think Pristini is a freaking beast. Like once he's on point, like he is a freaking animal on the map. So he just had kind of a slow start to the map, and we we're able to just take advantage of that and just able to snowball kind of throughout the maps, the hills. The kills and i mean we're just able to secure that pretty pretty confidently so then the next map was raid s and d so we have gone over a little bit s and d and search and destroy is definitely something that pros need the most work in because it's hard to practice all the time and it definitely requires a lot more effort to you know go into private lobbies talk about strats talk about situations you know you know, it, it, it's more time consuming and on top of it, like screaming, you have to add that to the side and like it's more time during the day or whatever, you know, it's more practice time. So we definitely went over some raid stuff. We actually practiced raid a couple times and we started off the map hot, man. We started off 2-0. I had a crazy, I, I think I had a crazy round where, where Vivid and I were like 2v3 or 2v4 or something like that. And I got like three kills and I played that very well. And, you know, I was just feeling myself. I was doing really good. And we started off 2-0, and and then it started to fall apart right after that. Um, they were definitely catching us slipping. Like we we want we went over back to the VOD. We watched as a team, and we like saw a lot of mistakes. I mean, during the map, I was realizing all these mistakes we were making, you know, including myself. But it, sometimes you just don't notice it during the map. You you know when you don't have so much like experience or um, practice on the map, you know you're gonna get caught slipping, and that's exactly what happened. You can see like a lot of the rounds we got first blooded. 
and it was kind of like dumb first bloods like one of them like i over peaked and i didn't really like calm it when my teammate to help me challenge some guy another round like a guy runs up water steps i think it was prasini by himself and i didn't know it was open at the time because like i said we're just kind of fresh on that map we went over some stuff but like we we, we you know in two times we scrimmed it three times max like we didn't really deal with that situation so Brissini comes up water steps um vivid calls out they're they're coming bad and they're like pushing water but like i didn't, it didn't register in my head to be like oh they can actually get through like for some reason i thought like he'd call it or like he'd have it and that's just my, that's my bad on my part and i literally could have turned around and killed him for free and probably blooded him instead but it's just like the mistakes we we're doing were like such simple mistakes that it's easily fixable and i think snd is minimizing like those dumb mistakes like getting blooded for dumb reasons and then on top of it it's just executing um your strats very well and then the last thing i feel like there's three three parts to it the last thing is just being a very i guess clutch player and like a very smart player in those situations you know those very situational plays that you come out on top and you you play very good but um yeah we were just getting caught lacking a lot and i mean if you watch it back like we start off hot we go up 2-0 and then almost every round after that, probably majority of those rounds, or at least a higher high percentage of the rounds, we got blooded. And when you get blooded, first blooded in S and D, like it's hard. So we ended up losing, I think, five or six rounds in a row right after that. And I mean, hey, at least we realized our mistakes. The next exhibition match, you know, at the end of the day, so it's it's like practice at the same time, and we just got to get better on the map. So then we go into control garrison. Now I pop off this map. I won't lie, I was having a great map. A lot of you guys know they call me vent man i can't believe <laughs> i'm like allowed it's pretty funny it's just a whole bunch of memes and vent, talking about the vent and it was uh it was pretty funny but yeah i i was definitely abusing the vent a bit when i can when i thought i had the, the timings to do it i think vent is just a good like side lane that you can take advantage of if you do it at the right time but obviously it has its pros and it has its cons but either way i do have a good, really good map um i've fried on that map uh, the thing about control right now is definitely like very defense you know favorite like if you do if you get defense last round there's a high chance you're gonna win that map and it comes down to kills right throughout the map so two of the offenses we actually had we could have won both those offenses and i i kind of messed up in one of them like i got overly aggressive or something i could have capped the point and it, it kind of sucks because like you know it's one of the worst things when you're frying on a map and you're doing really well and then you make like a very little mistake like obviously you know you're dominating the map you're helping your team like get on like do well on the map and get into these amazing and favorable situations but then you do that one little mistake that's like ah i shouldn't have done that and it could have potentially you put you could have potentially won the map like that's always like kind of the worst feelings you know you want to try to play as best and flawless as you can no matter how well you're playing during the map you never want to get like too over over yourself or over your head and i felt like that's kind of what happened to me a little bit like i was feeling myself too much and like like i said both like two of the offenses we could have closed if we just closed one of those we probably would have won the map easily and if you could i mean take an offense like i said it's extremely hard it's just so different defense favorite and it's just we couldn't close the offenses like it's just tough man like some situations that we choked and i think we won all our defenses and they just ended up getting defense last round and we just couldn't finish them off and it's just tough like that's why in control it's a very big thing that you kind of gotta go for kills a lot more especially on offense like you you never want to go in such a like big deficit going like into defense so like let's say your offense maybe you you lose the round if you do lose it by a couple kills like you never want to lose by like 10 15 kills or something like that i think vivid had a lot of deaths and he has that problem a little bit in control like he tends to die a lot in control and we we know this you know he knows this um and i think he had a lot of deaths and as soon as i saw his deaths like even though i was playing really well i saw his deaths i'm like yeah we definitely got offense it's all good though and well uh, we tried our best to secure that last offense but it's just tough and then they ended up winning that map felt like we should have took that one it's all good we go to the next map moscow hardpoint so moscow hardpoint was definitely kind of a choke fest for us um I, we watched it back as a team and I, I noticed it like while we we're playing i mean we were just making a lot of very little mistakes that just kept adding up and just it hurt us during the map like funny enough i mean 
we were keeping it close like they would have the lead then we would have the lead and then at some point we were kind of having the lead the whole time but very close like by 20 points 15 points like we never had a huge lead and it was just a, it was just a lot of mistakes during the map you know when we're breaking hills when we're holding hills um we kept throwing like we would throw our lives away or like we just wouldn't get a good team push or we went the you know we didn't it's just little things that i don't really want to go all in depth i don't want to spend like you know 30 minutes going in depth at all these little plays but i think that was one of the bad things about us as a team we were just making all these mistakes that were hurting us so much and moscow definitely is a map we need a little bit more work on we were so good at it the first couple weeks and it feels like now like we're a little inconsistent with some things like we get we got better at certain hills but then like now the other hills that we were good at now we kind of like suck at it a little bit so now like we have to get better again at those hills and the game is always evolving the game is always advancing you know there's new things people are doing there's new things teams are doing and you just always got to be on top of it so definitely a map we got to work on but the map was like pretty head-on straight up like close but what really caught my attention i mean or what caught most people's attention is like so at the end we're like tied it's the p2 hill um we knew they couldn't win on it but we wanted to contest some time so you know we're challenging the hill we're challenging the hill we're contesting some of that p2 time and after that you know around like 25 seconds left on old we're like all right we actually got to rotate here we don't want to flip out we don't want to lose this rotation because then we'll lose the game for sure and gunless makes a good play honestly he spawns street at like 24 25 seconds and you know most teams will kind of push out front or help make sure they get that time and he said screw it he said i'm rotating so he hit street early and sometimes it can pay off sometimes it doesn't really do much because we should still be able to kill him so he took that route you know he could essentially have took that route for nothing but he actually since he did it early he actually got timing on us and i think silly lost the 1v1 because like gunless was kind of ready for him he, he got there they both got there almost at the same time gunless got there like a second or two earlier so he was able to have the advantage on silly i think it was silly and he killed him and that definitely screwed us over because silly died before he can hold his uh his kill cam kill cam usually is almost like seven seconds it's like six and a half seconds i think maybe seven even but he died at like eight nine seconds so basically what's gonna happen to silly now is he's gonna spawn out to old hill and this put us in a really tough spot so i decided to hold my ground i'm like i'm just gonna sit here i'm gonna hold this this spot and i'm gonna make sure i try to die at least at six seconds that way i can hold my cam and i'll still spawn in the back and that way i'm still pressuring on the hill or pressuring on the map you know we're, we're definitely like a 3v3 now and i, I want to make sure i can you know hopefully get a kill and keep this pressure so they can just like freely run to the back or freely run to wherever they want and if i get a kill that's even better so i ended up dying too but it's all good because i spawned in the back i held my cam i did the right play but what, what really was the difference maker was adam assault actually went really big he was holding the elbow push he was like on top of like the bookshelf um head glitch and he ended up killing like two or three and we we're all off spawn we we all like we all spawned book but silly came pinched i think front or something like that and then after that once we stopped that initial push and we had a good setup we were able to hold the rest of that hill and we were able to win on it so it, it got a little fishy and scary for a second um definitely definitely um we went big in certain ways but um it's just something we got to keep getting better at for sure and that was definitely the i mean turnover obviously like if we didn't hold that then we would have lost the map but we just did you know everyone did their thing went big so snd garrison was the last map now we've actually been very comfortable on the map lately um you guys know me i'm vent man i love the vents that's what i do baby you know me just creeping up in there i've i've become very comfortable with playing the vents i kind of know how to play if you do know most people know this but there is a shadow down below and you can kind of see when they're pushing you before they push you so you kind of have the, that advantage to, if they push you they're trapped in a little hallway and you can preem them and basically start pre-firing that's what i do and you should guarantee at least one if, if there's two there you might get traded but it's just so it, if you do it correctly and your teammates have your back like if they're doing a good job of holding mid then it's kind of easy to hold and finesse and play well obviously it does take a set of skills you need to be a pretty finessey player and you know be alert be aware of a lot of things but it's just it's what i like I, I i was a big fan of vents i liked it played it really well um, a lot of you guys know we we won that map i think six three or six two um we did a really good job of getting a lot of first bloods and to top it off like our defenses 
um it was mainly our defenses we we're just holding i think we won every defense maybe lost one of them but i think we, i think we won them all but don't quote me in that because i think we did lose one of them but um yeah we we're just doing a good job of just helping each other no one ever threw okay there was like one or two offenses i remember we threw our lives a bit and we talked about that already as a team but we you know we tried our best to minimize mistakes you can see the difference between the raid s and d where we're getting blood in these dumb situations these little mistakes and we're dying and then they're just taking advantage of it versus like in the garrison like we were doing the first bloods and we were taking advantage of those kills and we were taking our time and we're holding like some defenses nobody died for like 40 40 45 seconds like it was just a stalemate and not only did i mean they were taking their time they were doing a good job but we were doing a good job not getting picked and holding them back so you can see the difference when it is like when you value your life in SD and like how big number advantage it can be. Like I know there was a defense probably we got blooded once and we were able to win one. I think I remember because I was in the vents. But overall, I was making the plays in vents and my teammates were doing such a good job getting those picks and holding it down for me mid map. You know, people give me credit. You know, I did play the vents very well. I'll take that. I, I take the credit. Appreciate the gas. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a team game and my team did a, an amazing job holding like the map down and, and holding mid map down and without them, it wouldn't have been that easy for me to hold events. So we work together. Now the problem is next time people know, I, I mean, next time, whenever I play that map, it can be like at this event, at this play event. So now I got to trick them. Now I got to play, I got to play different a little bit, but don't worry. I'll be in the vents. All right. But we were able to secure that map one, like six, three, I believe and i mean we're just really comfortable it was a nice little win a, a nice little victory you guys know i was on surge last year and even though it was like an exhibition match as a competitive player and the first competitive thing we played in this season in the past like almost three months it was nice to win that you know we just gotta keep grinding as a team we gotta keep building this momentum we have um you know it i, I have a lot of high hopes this team i have a lot of expectations and I'm going very hard this year. And, uh, you know, if we if we continue to go hard in practice, if we continue to improve and get better and it's improve in all game modes, especially Search and Destroy, like, we're going to be the uh, a big deal this, this year. We're going to be the real deal. It's a lot of comp, and we want to be at the top just like with all these top teams. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Shout out to my man CJ. The guy's a beast editor. It's a little something a little different competitive wise just a little insight with like what we we're thinking kind of what went right with us kind of our issues and our and our pros and our cons as a team um it was fun it was fun talking about these things i hope you enjoyed something new if you did make sure to leave a like it helps a ton and i guess i'll see you guys in the next video you don't want to miss it trust